Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Jeff, Beard Nation. Today we're gonna cover all things control related on PC for Warzone. So we're gonna cover a few different things today. The first thing being my favorite controllers to use in Warzone on PC. We're gonna compare the Xbox Elite Series 2 versus the Scuf Prestige. We're gonna go into why these controllers give you a competitive advantage and how the map the back paddles on these controllers. And finally, we're gonna go through some of my sensitivity settings. We're gonna talk about why these are all about personal preference, how you can test them and find what works for you. So first and foremost, my favorite controllers on Warzone. We have the Xbox Elite Series 2. We have the Scuf Prestige. Both these controllers are fantastic. We'll go in a little bit of a comparison on both of them. I've had a lot of playtime, a lot of different matches. I've tested multiplayer, Warzone, all kinds of things. Um, I personally right now use the Scuf controller over the Xbox Elite Series 2, but these both have pros and cons. They're both great controllers. They're both gonna give you a huge competitive advantage over any console player and also gonna allow you to compete with keyboard and mouse. Now the biggest advantage to using these controllers is that they both have four paddles on the back. And the reason this is so important is you can remap any of the keys that you would normally take your right thumb off the stick for and put them down below. This means you can run those buttons without ever having to take your right thumb off the aim stick. You can keep your movement and your aim solid all while running the commands that you would normally have to take that thumb off for. This is a huge advantage over any console player running a standard controller and it also gives you that equal playing ground against keyboard and mouse players. But I want to preface really quickly that the paddles here on the Xbox Elite Series 2, these are aftermarket, they're made by Scuf. I find that they're a little bit more ergonomic than the stock ones that come with the controller. You don't have to run them, but if you want to, you can get them for like 25 bucks at GameStop. Now the first controller I want to go over is the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. This controller is incredible in terms of fit and finish. This thing's rock solid. Like it feels heavy. The rubberized grip feels ultra premium. Everything's in terms of build quality is fantastic. I love it. As I mentioned before, I'm running the scuff paddles on the back here. I think these are a good upgrade from the standard ones. It feels a little more natural in terms of like how your fingers place on it. It's not perfect, but it works. If you look at my stick layout here, I'm running the longer stick on the right side. This gives me more precision in terms of aiming. And one of the biggest features here, that's it. That's how you change the stick. It comes with a couple different options. You have concave, dome, it's easy as a magnet. You can even change the D-pad just, you just pull it out and change it. You really can't beat that. When compared to the scuff, it's a little bit more manual, but we're getting some of the other pros and cons too that might make this a better controller than the scuff. Now, another big feature for both these controllers is the trigger throw. As you can see here, very short throw. You can adjust this on the back. So if we go to a standard throw, you have this entire throw to shoot your gun, to aim down sight. And if you're doing this, it's gonna give you a disadvantage. If you have a player who has a scuff controller or another Xbox Elite controller and they have that quick throw, by the time you get your controller all the way down they're already we have their first shot on you and then the twitch shooter if you don't have the first shot you're most likely going to lose now there's other things that you can do in the software for xbox is that even if you're running that long throw you can set it to the point that even if you have one little touch it goes automatically to 100 percent depressed this might not help if you're spamming your trigger but if you want that quick reaction time it's going to help now the biggest advantage that i'm going to cover today with the xbox elite series 2 is the fact that you can remap this thing extremely easily and you can even have multiple programs in the click of a button you can click different programs here you can have four different programs at once you're going to forza if you're going to apex legends you're going to warzone you have at the click of your button the different mappings that you need and this is huge absolutely huge but the biggest thing that you can't do with the scuff controller for warzone is remap your ping button for some reason on that controller the up and down on the d-pad is not programmable to a paddle Whereas with this controller, it is. So instead of going, you're, you're playing, you're trying to take your thumb off your stick to ping, you can remap the ping to the back of the controller. That's huge. You're never taking your thumbs off the stick, so you can remap the ping. For some reason, the scuff doesn't do it, but to me, I'm like, I, I thought that was amazing. Now, I still prefer the scuff over this controller for a couple of different reasons. We'll cover those later in the video, but man, that ping option, it's huge. If you're not remapping that ping, or if you, you're, you're trying to do the awkward pointer finger trick, I don't know, I've seen some streamers do it, it's not worth it. 
So on to the Scuff Prestige controller. Now this controller is the controller that I'm using the most in Warzone right now. It's my favorite. We'll talk about a couple of the reasons why it's my favorite over the Xbox right now. I'm running a similar stick layout with the longer stick on the right side for precision. We also have the four paddles on the back, very similar to the Xbox controller, but there's a few things that I wanted to point on here. One difference I wanted to talk about is the fact that this controller has a much different setup for the paddles and the bumpers. Yes, you can adjust it on the Xbox controller, Controller to have a shorter throw but this controller has digital tap now digital tap is almost like a mouse click so you might be able to hear it now but this is as quick as it gets there's there's no delay at all you hit that button it's instant if you're spamming a semi-automatic weapon or you want that reaction time that's super quick there's no delay every millisecond counts in call of duty it's a twitch shooter you want to get the advantage over your opponents this is going to give it to you way more than the Xbox controller, in my personal opinion. Now, another key advantage I wanted to cover is the fact that these paddles feel natural. The Xbox controller makes me feel like I almost have to claw into my paddles or use two fingers. It just doesn't feel natural. Whereas this, these just fall right in place. You can see here, like I open my hand, I have a relatively large hand. So like it's going right in place. Even if you had smaller fingers, it's still gonna fall right in place where it needs to be. You can click these buttons. If you wanna run one finger with both buttons, you can just roll your finger like this. It's super simple. To me, this feels way more natural than the Xbox controller. And I think that's a huge advantage. It's all about muscle memory in gaming, especially with Twitch shooters or anything that's first person shooter. You wanna have that reaction time that's instant. When it feels unnatural, you're gonna have a delay. And that's gonna give you a disadvantage. This feels natural, I have to give it the scuff. Now the last disadvantage with the scuff controller, which I don't think is a big deal, is changing both your sticks and your paddles. They give you this tool to change the sticks. You just untwist the ring, you pull it out, put it back in, twist the ring back on. In terms of the paddles, in my personal opinion, these things are a pain in the ass to pull out. Like, I'm not even gonna do it. I don't wanna do that just because it gives me, I just don't wanna do it. Uh, Xbox is easy as a magnet, it just pulls out, it's really simple. To me, it's not a big deal breaker. Like the advantages with the scuff are worth it just for the ease of use of changing paddle positioning. Like these just feel natural. Now next up, I'm gonna show you how I map my paddles and I'm gonna show you how to use these paddles in Warzone to get a competitive advantage. So for the outside paddles, when you buy a scuff controller or an Xbox Elite controller, usually these paddles are gonna be jump and slide. This one's going to be slide and this one's going to be jump. I actually switch these around so my right paddle is jump and my left paddle is slide. I don't know why this felt more comfortable to me. It's personal preference, test out both. It really doesn't matter. As long as you have these two as slide or jump and crouch, you're going to have that advantage. Now the inside paddles, I have set the switch weapon and I have set the reload. This is so important in Warzone because you can just go right here, you can put your plates on, you can switch your weapon, you can pick up your items without ever having to take your thumbs off the thumbsticks. So now we'll go over some gameplay. I'm going to drop in on Plunder. I'm going to show you guys some techniques that involve the paddles and the buttons such as slide canceling, jump shotting, and even parachuting in. I'm going to show you why using the paddles are much better than using the buttons. So first things first in Warzone, if you want to drop in and you want to shoot people out of the air, having the paddles is going to help. You can choose your spot and plunder. All right, let's drop out. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. I can pull my shoe. I can release my shoe without ever taking my fingers off the paddle. It's a huge advantage. So I'm gonna drop in somewhere rather safe and show you guys a couple techniques such as slide canceling and jump shotting and why the paddles are gonna, gonna give you that bigger advantage. So now that we're on the ground, I want to show you two different techniques and why it's much easier with the paddles versus the buttons. The first being the jump shot. We're going around the corner. We pre-aim and shoot. That's simple. Go around the corner, hit the paddle, pre-aim and shoot. If we do this with X versus the paddle, there's a little bit of a delay. It just feels unnatural to me. I haven't done it in a while, but hit X. It, it, I, there's a delay. Like, pre-aim and shoot. You're already shooting before you're around the corner. Now the next technique is the slide cancel, and you can do this in a straight line. You're just canceling your slide, Enemy UAV over doing it with the paddles. Very simple. You can do it just as simply with your buttons as well. Even though I'm not used to it, I'm missing. <laughs> so one big key advantage to slide canceling with paddles is that you can go around corners, you can snap to your target. If you know an enemy is around this corner, you're going to sprint in, you're going to break the camera. Bam, you're right in on your corner. 
Now, if you're doing this with buttons, you have to take your fingers off the buttons and almost like snap back into the stick. It just doesn't work. It's it, it's not as smooth as just going bam, bam. You're around the corner. You can even pre-aim and shoot with this technique. If you're ready in, you go. Now, it probably wasn't the best example, but you know what I mean? Like, never taking your fingers off the sticks is the best way to go. You're gonna break the camera for your opponent. You're gonna give yourself a huge advantage over any gunfight in Warzone. Now this last part here is all personal preference. These are my sensitivity settings. These are my controller settings. This is all gonna be dependent on your skill level. It's gonna be dependent on your personal preference. It's gonna be dependent on your controller. There's a lot of things here that I recommend testing out and see what works for you. Go into a bot lobby, go into like Modern Warfare and just play against bots themselves. Like just make sure that these are comfortable for you because if they're not, you're not gonna have any competitive advantage in Warzone because you're not gonna be used to the settings, especially when you're running high sensitivity. There's such a big misconception that high sensitivity means you're a better player. I can assure you that most pro players play on an average sense to maybe mid to high sense, especially like when it comes to non ADS sense, you don't need to be on insane. If it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, it's going to give you a huge disadvantage. So my settings here, I'm running my dead zone at 0 0.05. Um, my controller's brand new, so I don't expect it to have any drift. If your controller starts to get broken in, you're noticing a little bit of drift, you can up this and actually help counteract that. But if your controller is getting past like the 0.3 to 0.4 range, you might want to consider replacing it. I haven't run into this too much, but that's something to know. Now for stick sensitivity, I'm running 6.6. Pretty common amongst most players. It's a little bit on the higher end of sensitivity. I like to snap to my target. It's not gonna be the same snap as the mouse and keyboard player. Now it's comfortable enough for me that I'm not going crazy. Like I'm, I'm not missing targets. I'm able to snap on, but I'm also able to turn around really quickly. ADS multipliers, I'm running 0.7 on low zoom and I'm running 0.8 on high zoom. And finally, these work for me. Some people like to run one one. Test this out, see what works for you. Running a lower sensitivity is not a bad thing. If you can hit all your shots, that's all that matters. If you can get on target, hit every single shot. It doesn't matter if you're at a 2.0 or a 0.5. Winning your gunfight is all that matters. Find the sensitivity settings that work for you. Now these next settings, I'm gonna cover these really quickly. Just cover the important ones. The first thing I wanna cover here is the use the reload behavior. Set this to contextual tap. This allows you to quickly tap on any single item that you wanna pick instead of holding down square when you're picking up every item. If you wanna hold and reload, you can. If you're not on any item, you can just tap the reload. It makes things super simple. Simple. Now for armor play behavior, this is all personal preference. I like to run apply all. If I'm getting out of gunfight, I'm automatically trying to plate up. Now for armor play behavior, I'm applying all. The reason I'm doing this is because if I'm getting into a gunfight, I'm going to lose plates. I'm going to disengage, reapply all my plates and get back into the gunfight. If I'm 2v1ing or 3v1ing, I want to make sure that I'm plated up because if you're not, you're going to lose the gunfight. Now for slide behavior, I have this on tap. This is super critical for slide canceling. If you don't have this on tap, you're going to really struggle. And last but not least, I have my parachute auto deploy. I have this disabled. I like getting as close to the ground as possible before I deploy my chute. I like to be super accurate with how I'm going in windows or buildings. Keep in mind though, that if you miss, you're going to break your legs. Your buddies are be pissed so just make sure that you're used to this you can test it out and plunder or whatever you got to do but i disable it i like to be super accurate with my drop-ins especially with the scuff controller you can hit these you're not hitting your buttons you can aim in while you're doing your shoot it's super helpful Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope this was helpful. I hope these controller settings and controller comparisons are gonna give you the competitive advantage in Warzone. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, support Beard Nage. Thank you so much, guys. Peace.